Good morning. It's Thursday, May 30th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Fruit of the Spirit, Part 8, Self-Control. And our scripture is Galatians chapter 5. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There's no law against these things. I've learned to pay attention to Grandma. Now, that certainly applies to the Grandma I live with, but it also reveres the tons of wisdom that flow from Grandma's hearts everywhere. My mother's mom, Grandma Carrie, had a favorite expression that Solomon would have loved. Enough is too much. Over the years, I've learned to decode this piece of wisdom that corresponds so well to the godly advice of Scripture. Now, it seems a contradiction that having enough isn't right, but Grandma said it was too much. The arguable point here is that our natural appetites for anything we like will always take us over the top if we get what we want. Consider Solomon's advice on the matter. Do you like honey? Don't eat too much or it'll make you sick. Don't visit your neighbors too often or you wear out your welcome. Does that sound like Grandma to you? Who can argue against such warnings? My dad would shout a loud amen here, especially to that honey thing. During the Great Depression, my dad was a teenager, and his parents' home was an apartment in New York on the second floor right over a neighborhood delicatessen. The owner took a liking to my dad and every day handed him several samples of cheeses when he was coming or going. It was great. Free cheese. But after six months of the fabulous cheese giveaways, enough became too much. To the day he died, my dad couldn't be comfortable in the same room with cheese. This brings us to the spiritual warning of too much cheese or anything else for which we would sacrifice moderation. Proverbs 25, 28. A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. The obvious reference here is a city or nation that lets its guard down, becoming easy prey for the enemy. If you're going to remain free, the cost is to remain vigilant. That means much more than being tough to keep the bad guys out of your business. It also means taking care to guard your appetite for too much of any good thing, because it will make you easy prey for the chief enemy. 1 Peter 5, 8, stay alert, watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Now this advice from Grandma Carey, by way of Solomon, about enough being too much is proved out in Scripture even in Satan's life. Ultimately, his over-the-top appetite for devouring the spiritual life of God's children will be his enough undoing. That war against God that he loves so much will be his too much. For you today, like a city without walls is hard to defend, so is your spirit without self-control. So, pay careful attention to developing moderation and self-denial. You either rule your spirit or lose it. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.